Now as I grow into adulthood, I've developed a love for short novels. Now don't get me wrong, I still love my big boys, but man, they are so time consuming. And when you have no time, nothing is better than a short novel. And when you really think about it, for the amount of time that you put in, the amount of content that you get is absolutely incredible. So today I'll be recommending some of my favorite short novels that I believe you should absolutely read and you will not regret. So let's get to it. Why didn't they knock? It's a question posed by the Palestinian author Ghassan Kanafani in his book, Man in the Sun. It's a story about four men and their attempt to cross over the border to Kuwait for a search of better life. In this novel, Ghassan Kanafani is able to voice the cries of Palestinians for the search of their identity. How do you find yourself? Where do you belong in this world? when your, your identity and land has been stolen from you. This novel is not a political take on the Palestinian issue. This is rather a human way to look at it. Hassan Kanafani spends the entirety and majority of this novel basically giving you the perspective of four different generations on how they deal with the loss of their homeland and what are their thoughts for the future. This novel gives you an insight into the minds of Palestinians whose lives has been lost inside of refugee camps and immigration to other countries. You will leave this novel not wondering why they did what they did, but rather knowing that this is the only choice they had and the only choice that Palestinians from all around the world have. Even if you have no interest in the Palestinian fight for justice, you'll still love this novel because this is a novel about a human story. It's about immigration, not just about the immigration of Palestinians, but the immigrations of everybody from around the world and how those border laws are setting us backwards and the struggles that those people go through. Absolutely recommend it to anybody. Have you ever wondered what it would be like for The Stranger by Albert Camus to meet the notebook? Well, wonder no more because it is Madonna in a fur coat. This is a love story that leaves you wondering on which is better to experience heartbreak or to miss out on love entirely. It's the story of two deeply insecure people. You have the stoic, quiet man, Raif Effendi, who just goes with everything and is indifferent about everything around him. And then you have the strong, independent artist, Maria, who's trying to establish herself in a world that doesn't accept her in 1941 Berlin. They're both searching for something, someone, but their backgrounds and their stories deprive them of that feeling of satisfaction from finding that one. It will send you back in time to an era that doesn't exist anymore. While this novel still is fueled with passion and love it stays logical, which is, in my opinion, the best form of romance. This is an achingly beautiful romance story that I don't think any I've read anything like it before. And for any romance lover out there, you, you will miss out. You have not read a romance book until you've read Madonna in a Fur Coat. Our next novel is written by the pioneer and father of the Arabic novel, Taha Hussein. Have you ever wanted to take a trip to a world so foreign to you and your surrounding? Well, how about a trip along the Nile, deep into the heart of the Egyptian countryside? A place ruled by traditions and cultures that to some might seem backward and barbaric, but to others, it's home and it's beautiful. That's exactly what Call of the Curlew gives you. This is the story of an Egyptian girl from the countryside who's seeking revenge for the death of her sister by a man from a wealthy family. This novel will take you on a journey that you've never experienced in your life before. The imagery and the scenery in this novel is incredible, especially when you know that the writer Taha Sin is actually blind. He was blinded when he was five years old. And when you're reading this, you will not you would have no idea because it's such well-written novel. 
From the outside, this novel seems like a simple revenge story, but it's really not. It explores themes of women equality, classism by the city folks, the unjust treatment of farmers in higher societies of Egypt, the political depth that this novel goes into will be appealing to everybody. It's not really hard to understand what Taha Hassan is really getting at, while at the same time, you will still be on your toes by the thrill of the chase in this novel. For 130 pages, all you will be able to think about is how will this simple country girl will be able to get her revenge, not only for the death of her sister, but for everybody who's been wronged by the elites and higher societies of Egypt. Will the cycle of abuse continue? Will Amina suffer the same fate as her sister? All of this are themes explored in this novel. And you will absolutely not regret it. And if you're looking to get into Arabic novels, there is no better way to start than in The Call of the Curlew. Yeah, so these are three different novels that I believe should be on everybody's must read because they are absolutely incredible. And they will take you into a world that you probably never been to in your life. I mean, the first novel is written by a Palestinian man. The third novel is by a Turkish. The third is written by an Egyptian. So in 400 pages, you're really getting to know and learn about f three fascinating cultures. And you will not regret it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, press like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all around.